Hello everyone. Shalom, dear friends. I just finished up with some brides. It's been a busy week. I am two weeks behind, but I am catching up. And I have been meeting with one bride after another after our um, leaving to help my mother-in-law move. I have gotten a little bit behind, but that's okay. We are catching up. It is Tuesday. It's a little bit later in the afternoon because I had so many appointments this morning, but I still wanted to check in here with you. And um, if you are new here, I am Krista and this is Finding Shalom, a page all about finding peace and my journey to find peace, which includes everything from my love of sewing and uh, that I used to be a bridal shop owner. I gave up the big retail world uh, to have a little more peace in my life. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, today, I wanted to uh, possibly talk about starting a series, a series I've been wanting to um, start for quite a while. Um, and it is all about things that steal your peace, um, things that steal your shalom. I call them shalom stealers. <laughs> and way back when, when I started uh, my word of the year to be shalom, I had uh, realized in that first year that there were many things in my life that uh, were contributing to the fact that I was very stressed out. I was overworked. I didn't have enough rest. Um, I had a lot of adrenaline running through my bones and my body and my blood. And um, I was kind of burning the candle at both ends. And I knew I needed something in my life like peace. I listened to that verse that says, he will give you the peace that passes all understanding. And I'm like, you know, I'm a Christian. I've been walking with God for a very long time. Where's that peace that he promises? Where's that, um, just that quiet peace? And it's not that I had never felt it because there were many times in some really tough situations that that, that peace just came over me and I was okay with whatever had happened in, you know, that situation. But how do I have that peace in my everyday life? That's where I began to do a deep dive into finding the peace that the Bible promises. Finding, you know, if Jesus is the Prince of Peace and I follow Jesus, I should be um, feeling some sort of peace. If I... Um, have been following him since I was a young girl. Why, why do bad things happen to good people? Basically, um, why do, is there always seem to be a struggle right around the corner? Why is there always a crisis? And, you know, part of that is, you know, just your environment and the way you grew up, or it could be genetics. I've told you before, I am genetically a worry, worry wart. I I come by it truthfully. I come by it with a long line of worriers. Anyway, so um, I have often thought and in my journals written lists of shalom stealers. Those are the things I started to analyze in those first uh, year, that first year especially, and I still keep my eye open for it. Those are the external things that I can control and sometimes things I can't control, that um, they steal my shalom. They steal my peace. So I do know now, after years of studying, that there is a true peace. There is a peace that no matter what circumstances are happening around you, um, and even if you feel anxious and stuff like that, you return to that foundation of peace. And there's a true peace in just knowing your creator knowing um, that God has an ultimate plan, stuff like that. But I'm not talking about that. I want to do a series on the things that we can change in our life to make a more peaceful atmosphere. And maybe you guys can help me. Um, this is going to be a series. I'll probably do a individual video on each of these. But I'm thinking of things um, like... Uh, discouragement and um, disappointments. I'm thinking about 
you know, that guilt, um, not the good kind of guilt, but the kind of guilt, you know, sometimes uh, we feel guilty when we shouldn't feel guilty and we do things out of guilt and, and that doesn't bring us peace. Um, you know, all the distractions in our lives. Uh, I want to do a video on that. Um, you know, expectations and, you know, mixed up priorities and not having a day to rest your body, not having enough rest, not having um, the right nutrition. Those are the things I want to, that aren't part of that deeper biblical piece, but there probably is biblical advice on each of those uh, subjects because even the book of Proverbs, it's not promises, but it is a way of life. It's, um, it, you know, it, it tells you that most likely if you live like this, then you will get A, B, and C, you know? Um, so I want to explore some of those. So in this video, I'm just kind of introducing that and I want to start exploring each of those different uh, Shalom Stealers. So what I need from you guys is to look into your life right now and look around and even in your past, what has, um, what has st stolen your peace? What has robbed you of peace? What is robbing you right now of peace? Let's look at that biblically. Let's dive into that. Let's get each other's advice. How do we overcome some of these things? Some things we have control of. Um, having a more uh, clutter-free home would be helpful, and that's something we can control. But, you know, um, some relatives or friends that are really uh, tend to come in and steal your peace, but you have to be around them. That's something that you can't control, but can you control it to a certain level? So I want to explore those things. So today I am, you know, just letting you think about those things. Please, in the comments, tell me what's stealing your peace. Tell me what is robbing you of your shalom, your wholeness, your prosperity, your completeness, your, um, you know, lack of war or lack of, uh, I'm, you know, all of those things. Tell me in there and let's just break that down every Tuesday for the next few weeks. Um, I want to explore some of those subjects. So like I said, tell me in the comments and uh, I will read them and we'll start studying them and then feel free to jump in with advice on ways that you have been able to restore some peace in your life. You'll probably help me. You'll help others. Um, we're a team here. So I'd love to hear from you. So for now, I'm going to get back to sewing so I can have some peace of mind knowing that all these brides are taken care of. And I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday, a wonderful week, whatever day you are listening to this. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Shalom, my dear friends. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Love you.